Hello and welcome to another edition of Active Living. Today we are very, very fortunate to have a traveling couple with us, Mike and the Kathy Morris. They've just returned from a Viking homeland tour, uh, which is on, uh, on one of the Viking, new Viking ships. And uh, welcome to Active Living. Thank you. Thanks. It's Thanks, nice George. to oh, be here. We'd like to hear a little bit about your trip. I mean, it, I, I've heard a little bit about it, but I'd like to hear a little bit more about what the whole trip encompassed and how long it took. Well, it, uh, it was, uh, we added part on to the end. We went to Iceland after the, the cruise part of it. So the total th was about 18 days. Cool. And 15 days touring the Baltic area and then another three full days over in Iceland with a travel day in between. Okay, wow. So, so how many countries, different countries, did you hit on this trip? Oh, goodness. We, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we hit Norway, uh, Denmark, Germany, Poland, Estonia, Russia, Finland, Sweden, and Iceland. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Nice. That's fantastic. Yeah. It sounds like a great trip. It was a wonderful trip. Well, fabulous. tell us a little bit about this ship. I, I understand Viking has just now branched out from the river, the river right. boats into uh, like a smaller cruise, cruise ship. ship. Yeah, there was about 930 passengers on the ship itself, okay. plus the staff. And um, it was the really nice thing about it, it was able to fit into every port except one. We tendered into one port. Okay. Um, and. The ship was gorgeous, and people weren't after you to buy other things. Um, it was the the room was so convenient; everything had a place. Um, it had a balcony on it, a uh, a sofa and chair in the um, inside the room with a nice desk to sit at. Um, the it had Wi-Fi and some television. Did the uh, Wi-Fi work? Yeah. <laughs> Most of the Most time. Most of the time it worked. Most because I know time. on the river boats, when, when I was on the river boats, it was kind of hitting me. It was yeah. spotty, yeah. You know, it worked most of the time, right. and uh, that's included. Um, let's go along with Kathy. Vikings' philosophy, and they told us that, is the destinations. Okay. Every port has an included trip. They're not so much, although everything was very nice, with restaurants and everything, you won't find casinos on board. They did have shows on this trip, but you won't find the real high quality, high class shows. Right. But right. it was it was very very well done. And uh, that being said, they had a lot of very very interesting uh, talks in the theater, right. and they had a pianist that was outstanding when she performed for us, um, and they had a troupe that put on several different shows. Really. Throughout yeah. oh, that the. Oh, sounds fantastic. The, days that we were there on the ship. Well, I know when I when I go to Fort Lauderdale and I look up at some of these cruise ships, you know, there's 4,000 passengers on there and you got to feel like you got to be in a real rat race on yeah. one of those. Yeah. But the smaller the smaller ships sounds exciting. Yeah. Every room had a balcony. Really? Every room on the ship there are no inside rooms. Every room had a balcony that you could go out on. That's fantastic. And uh, the food was excellent. They have several different restaurants inside. They had entertainment, not only in the theater, but they had a classical th trio where uh, three women, one was playing the flute, one was playing a bass fiddle, one mm -hmm. was playing, or a cello, one was playing a violin. So they had entertainment for you along the way. It, wow. it was just, Viking does a top notch. That's great. It, it, it was really good. Well, tell us about some of the cities you visited. Okay, we first flew into Bergen, okay. Norway. Okay. Um, and we had a, a walking tour there. Um, we had a walking tour in each city. At Viking provided and included a walking tour or uh -huh. even a bus tour in each city. Our first city was Bergen, uh, Norway, and um, there was a fabulous wharf there that was all these really colorful buildings. Um, and they were from the Middle Ages, many of them rebuilt but looking the same and this was supposedly where the Hasianic League of the Middle Ages did their trading really and um, so there was you know and then there were lots of little narrow streets that we walked through to get back and behind and see the houses and as they were 
they've done a wonderful job preserving the city. So how long were you actually in Bergen? Uh, we flew into Bergen and spent the rest of that afternoon there and then another full day okay. was in Bergen. So you had plenty of time to really yeah. see what was going on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we took the, the included tour, uh, what Kathy was talking about right. is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay. Uh, we, we toured their museum where they had some remains from some buildings that were original buildings from uh, the 1500s. Okay. Uh, and remains of a ship from there. And then we had free time for ourselves that we could walk around, visit markets or whatever, and, and work our way back to the ship. So did Kathy, did you buy a whole bunch of gifts? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't get back? <laughs> no, <laughs> did you? but we bought, in, <laughs> at this particular place, we bought a package of three sausages. One was whale, one was reindeer, and the third one was moose. moose. Really? And like summer sausage. Yeah, right. right. And, yeah. and they were great. We set them out at Thanksgiving, and, and when people got over the shock <laughs> of what they were eating, which they did, they were shocked, they thought they were pretty good. Yeah. So that was kind of our big purchase. They're all in some troll ornaments for a okay. Christmas tree. Oh, yeah, right. So. so from there, where do you go? We sailed north, uh, north, and then worked your way inside, and we got to the city of Flam. F-L-A-M, and that's also in Norway. Okay. And um, this one, we didn't take their included one. We, we decided to spend some money and go on one that took us on a full day rail bus tour. Really? Up into the mountains, yeah. It, w it, was, it was spectacular. You could see a lot of the fjords and um, lots of waterfalls. We saw two pretty amazing waterfalls. Um, and then we had lunch at a real nice hotel, and then when you went out back, they had a big stone overlook balcony kind of a thing, right. and you were looking down over this fjord. It was just beautiful, Sounds just fantastic. the mountains and the water, and maybe a golf course down there. <laughs> there was a real <laughs> beautiful green area at the yeah. bottom. It was a Stahlheim Hotel, and it was a... Uh, Nayer Fjord, it's another UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wow, yeah, that's sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah. and and so you're in port there for what one day? For it was a seven-hour trip from start okay. to stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we were in port for one. I think that's where we were tendered, if I'm not yes. mistaken. Yes. Yeah, that was the only day that we got on a, a small right little boat uh -huh. ship, and they, you know, took us into the port and. You know, then the opposite right at the end. Right. It sounds but fantastic. So yeah. the scenery up there was spectacular. Yeah, they had a they had an open air museum up there, similar to like our Greenfield Village. Okay. Where they have these grass roofs on buildings. Some of these right. buildings dated back to the 1400s. Okay. And then they had a modern building where we could go inside and see exhibits there at wow. the, the Voss in the city of Voss. Yeah, it yeah, was. It was lovely. So yeah. now you're moving from there to. Stravanger, yeah. again Norway. Again Norway. Stravanger. Yeah. Stravanger. 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 Uh, Stravanger. Something like that. I can't say it, so no. you, you have to well, say it. Stravanger. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and again, they had a lot of uh, um, beautiful buildings, uh, and we took a nice tour through there um, and saw, you know, this one street that kind of sticks out in my mind anyways was a, um, a colorful street. And by that I mean there was all these different businesses and they were all these brilliant colors, different brilliant colors. Mm -hmm. And um, at the very end, which is always of interest to us, there was a bicycle shop and they had uh. the most colorful bikes. Um, just, you know, pretty flowers or really? rainbows mm -hmm. or... Pa huh? All painted different colors. Yeah, yeah, there must be something about the Northern Hemisphere because w when I lived in Newfoundland, we had also very bright colored homes and we even had one that was painted in checkerboard. Oh. It, was, it was yellow and black. <laughs> so I, I, I know where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. And trolls, trolls are big in, in, in Norway. Okay. They had troll statues when we were in Bergen. We took a funicular up to the mountain. We could oversee the, the whole city. It was, it's beautiful. And um, there was huge trolls, statues of trolls okay. there. We took some pictures they were by. Taller than you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there were and there were Stavanger. There were trolls there. There, 
Yeah, right. it's supposed yeah. to be a part of the Norse mythology, Scandinavian folklore, right. and um, uh, apparently humans and trolls don't get along so well. I think well. we, oh, we just right. saw uh, <laughs> um, a commercial for a movie out now, oh, right? Yeah. Trolls, right. Right. and they were mentioning Bergen. Oh, yeah. is that right? In that, the, it, yeah. I think it's a character's name or a, a place that they go or something in that that new film. But okay. Yeah. And these trolls, what are they supposed to do? Are they just bad guys, or are they? Well, no, they live in caves or in forests, and okay. and they just they're you just know, local characters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. they just they're, they're they don't get along with humans, around. though. Yeah. They're never helpful. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, yeah. So from there. Oh, one more thing in oh, Stravanger, okay. which we don't even have on our little cheat sheet here. Um, there was an oil museum there, and we spent a very short amount of time there, but. In Norway, their main export is oil. Really, yeah. I did not. I was not aware of that. The the North Sea there. Now, do has they they a drill of offshore drilling. or do they drill in the mountains or both? I, they may do both. I'm only aware of the drilling in the um, offshore. Okay. But they may do both. Like I said, we didn't spend a lot of time in the museum. Um, another couple we were with right. were very interested in it, and they. That's thought interesting. It was a great museum. Now. They, they, I, I think they have pretty uh, uh, high taxes there. Have you, did you get into that at all? I, we, we didn't, didn't talk not then. there. We no. talked about it in another place. Okay, because I, I was uh, in uh, Stockholm once, and we talked about, you know, the social aspects right. of how much taxes they paid. This was about 30 years ago. Okay, and they were paying about 50 percent taxes at the point. Yeah. But, right. but they had free health care, and they. You know, if you got old, they took care of you and all those types of and things. Uh, so we saw, we heard about that in uh, Alberg, the, our next stop okay. uh, in Denmark. Okay. And we heard. I thought it was 60% or 66%. Yeah, yeah. It probably is by now. And then yeah. if you made more than that, it, uh, over a certain level, it was 75%. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The more you made, the, the right. bigger percentage or whatever. Yeah. Right. But, but as you mentioned already, all of their health care, all of their education. Right. A lot that pays for a lot, right? And they have a pretty good uh, education system there, from what I understand. They do. Mm -hmm. they All do. right, so we're moving along. All right. <laughs> um, like so Kathy said, we, our next stop was in Alberg, okay. Denmark. Um, again, we did the um, um, walking tour. Um, we went. We went to a Lutheran church and um, in. In the churches in Denmark, they always have uh, ships hanging from the ceiling, uh, and uh, in the, uh, I mean, in the in the nave in the main yeah, church, yeah. right? There's a a ship, okay. a model <laughs> ship about that yeah, long, yeah, a, a sailing. I ship. I mean, and, and they are a sailing country. I mean, the their land, their the country sticks out into the water, right? It's right. It's even more of a peninsula than our Michigan is. Uh -huh. So that, you know, kind of made sense. We saw a house there that was built in 1624. Um, we saw a monastery of the Holy Ghost and we were entertained there too. Really? By some, uh, yeah, we walked into this courtyard kind of a thing and there was oh, yeah. a guy playing a drum, another guy <laughs> playing a, uh, a, wind a, wind, instrument. a wind instrument. And, uh, and then there was a, another uh, station. There was a guy with some some kind of mead, some kind of drink. Oh, really? We were. He was making a toast. <laughs> his his preface to the toast lasted probably about two minutes. If you weren't thirsty when you got it, you were thirsty by the time you was, was it. Done. Was it in English or was it? Oh yeah, yeah. it was in it English. Was in English. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So he knew he was uh, performing for it. Yeah. 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 Great. In the first half we talked a little bit about some of the uh, Scandinavian countries. And now we're at, uh, we're coming into what, Copenhagen now? Coming into Copenhagen, Denmark. Okay. Was our next stop. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, it's a beautiful city. Um, again, we took the included bus tour. Okay. And we had free time on our own after that. Um, we saw the the Little Mermaid. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Everybody's Hans got Christian to see the Little Anderson. Mermaid, right? got to see it sitting <laughs> in the harbor there. Um, and then uh, they took us past Tivoli Gardens. Um, they took us past the botanical gardens um, and, and the, a few um, canals. Gefion, 
a fountain that was pretty spectacular. Oh, that really? There are these bulls, and uh, it's supposed to be, Gephion is supposed to be the Norse goddess. Yeah. And uh, she's driving these bulls through water, and it's all this splashing. <laughs> and then there's the fountain as well. Okay. And it was pretty Steams, intense. Steam well, or water's coming out of the nostrils of the, the bulls. Of yeah. the bulls. It's, I it's spent a week at the Tivoli Gardens one night. <laughs> 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 it was great. <laughs> But well, anyway, it's a, it's a terrific city. Yeah, after our included tour, we stopped for lunch and met some locals, and we were debating whether the Tivoli or the Botanical, okay. and they kind of steered us towards the Botanical Garden. Okay. I think part of it was because half the day was gone. And right. So uh, we ended up going to the Botanical Gardens, which were nice. but Not much was in bloom. Not much was in bloom. Oh, so I see. That was yeah. It's kind of the end of the season there, isn't it? Well, no, they, you were there well, in the middle of the summer, right? No, we well, were there we're in, in the end of August. Okay, of so August. yeah, it's kind of coming to the yeah. close. Yeah. Uh, bicycles? Oh. <laughs> at Copenhagen <laughs> is just full of bicycles. The rush hour is more bikes than cars there. Oh, it's many just more. And then they would have parking many. spaces and just the the area where the bicycles would be would be as big as you know the shot, the the parking area in front of one big store at a mall. Right. Yeah. You know, it's just mammoth. Yeah. And then well, we. I've, I've, I've had some cities in Germany like that where yeah. there's like four thousand bicycles. In yeah. 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 I don't understand how they get it, their bicycle <laughs> in or out, or if you take yours out yeah. and everybody else is like Domino's yeah, right. is going to go over. Um, we saw. They took us by the palace. And we we saw um, guards there. It's a. Royal Winter Palace. We saw the Rosenberg Castle, which was beautiful. It ho houses the uh, Danish crown jewels. Oh. Um, and then uh, we took on our own a canal with, boat with a ride. A canal boat ride. Okay. And it. And we mm. s we went out past the. Uh, th they got a new opera house. It's very very nice out there. Um, we saw the uh, royal yacht was yes, docked in yes. the harbor. Oh really? By there. Yes. And then uh, we went in s in some canals, and it reminds you an awful lot of... Uh, Venice? No, no uh, not Venice. Well, the place that we've been, but we haven't been. Oh, Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam. Okay. <laughs> that we've been, we've been to. to Amsterdam. You've been there, but you haven't been there. We've been to Amsterdam <laughs> three times, and all we've seen is the airport. Yeah, so me too. <laughs> I've been there once, and it, and it yeah. was the airport. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so it was a very nice boat ride, and then, and then we, we came back to the ship. That's great. Yeah. So from from there, uh, you you take a little trip, a uh, side trip. I understand. Well, we went to uh, we we sailed to, and I can't remember the name of the. It's a, a long name. Where were Wandermachen or yeah, Wanderburger. In Germany. Oh, in Germany. Okay. In Germany, Germany, sailed there, and then from that port, we okay. took a three-hour train ride to Berlin. Okay. And um, and when we were in Berlin, we saw... We received uh, a, a bus tour, a, yeah. a city bus tour, stopped by the... There's a, a one place that has a good section of the wall, the Berlin Wall is still standing. Oh, yeah. And then um, below that are some remains of a, a Gestapo building. Okay. So we stopped there, and then they they pointed out the Brandenburg Gate, mm -hmm. uh, the Reichstag building with a new dome on it, and then um, then we had free time. We could do what we about, wanted. About three hours of free okay. time. And, uh, One and of Kathy the most got a chance to do some shopping, I bet. No, <laughs> no, I didn't do a lot of shopping. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I know, you would think so. I love it. <laughs> they, they have a very somber uh, memorial there in Berlin, Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe. Oh, do they? It's yeah. uh, uh, granite blocks, and huge, they're different lined shapes. They're in, in rows, but they're different heights. Okay. I think they're all the same width, but maybe not depth, but they're, they're lined up in rows. And you walk into this thing, and you lose people. Like you see them and, and, they, and you lose them because they're going to, because it's, it's crossing. Just the way the, uh, the aisles are set up. Yeah. 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 And, and the different sizes of the blocks that you'll, you'll be walking and you might look down this aisle and see somebody just, just briefly. Yeah. You know, and it or even the people you're with. Yeah. Okay. Like, 
where did you go? Yeah. And yeah. obviously very symbolic of what happened sure. to the Jews there. Right. And, and then they um, have a, a, a museum at the uh, as part of it that's underground. And we had, uh, unfortunately, because of time restraints, we had to really rush through that. But there were a lot of very sobering uh, stories exhibits and, in, and there. Exhibits yeah. in there. Yeah, they had a lot of artifacts and um, they had videos and mm -hmm. a lot of photographs. Right. It was very sobering. Well, I've been there a couple of times, but I didn't get a chance to see that. That I, part I of think the city. that's a newish. I I don't know when. Okay. But it's just it's right next to the U.S. Embassy. Okay. Just on uh, you got that memorial, then you got the U.S. Embassy, and on the other side of the U.S. Embassy is the Brandenburg Gate. Okay. That's so it, they're all right there, close right. together. Right. Yeah. Right. And when we were on our own, we went and s sought out yeah. Checkpoint Charlie. Oh yeah. Um, you know and. It's more commercial than anything. Now. Oh, is it? Yeah. You yeah. could you could pay to have your picture taken T with some with, guards, uh, there. Some guards yeah. there in different hats. We didn't we didn't we do that. Some. Well, when I was there, they 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 showed part of the the wall which had two fences. Did did you get to that part? And th they had like about maybe seventy five yards between the two fences, and they would uh, they would they would harrow the ground or plow the ground in between, and they had uh, like. Uh, Posts where people were stationed about every three or four hundred yards. So anybody tried to cross between the two in the they, no man's land. They, in no man's land, they would end up making footsteps in, into this newly harrowed place. And if they got to the second fence and tried to ca crawl up that second fence, they could get electrocuted because they had, you know, power Charged going up. through there. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see we, that. I, I think we saw that when we were taking the bus tour. I think she okay. pointed that yeah. out. Oh, there was a place where we saw yeah. that. And also in the city, you know, every once in a while, you would see a marker, like a, a bronze marker on the, uh, on the, the, the ground. Right. Where the wall uh, that was. Would, oh, that's that where the would mark where the be. Berlin right. used, okay. wall used to be. Yeah. Well, interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yes. now you, you, you've... you've finished your little tour of Berlin. Berlin. And so now, how do you get back to the ship? Well, we took the, the a three-hour train ride right back. Oh, three-hour three train, train right back. back. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. That was uh, toasty. Oh. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was toasty. No air conditioning on the train. All the windows were open, and thank oh. goodness for that. It really? was toasty. And then we got back to the ship, and the the um, employees, the, uh, the ship oh, the, employees, the were in these long, long lines and clapped us in. Oh, really? And, yeah, and, and had drinks for us. Drinks, <laughs> and, and they did they, that they more than once. long. I mean, that was a very long day. Yeah. We got yeah. up early and we're getting back late. Yeah, and, and they <laughs> had, um, you know, nice, cool washcloths <laughs> for you to freshen up with oh, as you walked as you're in. Walking and in. Yeah, they they just take <laughs> such good care of you on that, <laughs> yeah, that's that great. company. Yeah. We like that. So, you now you're back to the ship. Got back on the ship and we sailed to Poland. Oh, really? And we go to Gdansk. Okay, uh -huh. never been there, but it sounds interesting. We, yeah. First, we started with another bus tour, you know, an overview right. of the city. Um, and we went by the monument of the fallen shipyard workers of 1970. Um, and, and then we eventually, and we saw a a few other. We saw Lech Walensa's house. They drove us by okay. that. And right. there was a church that we saw from the outside, uh -huh. and um, and then we ended up by going to the old town area. Okay. And you have to cross over the Matlawa. Is that a river? A yeah, river. A river. Uh -huh. Okay. And go in the Green Gate, and you enter into the old town area okay. of the city. But as you cross over the river on this bridge, you can look down the river and you see this old tread wheel crane. And they used, it was, it was pretty interesting. Um, they used to load and unload the cargo ships using that crane, but mm -hmm. it was human powered. It was a 14th oh. century crane. Really? It was human powered, yeah. So they had like a big turnstile that these guys would walk around yeah, yeah. To, to raise yeah. them. Really? Now, now it's a now maritime it's a museum. museum. Oh, but yeah. yeah, that was pretty interesting. That sounds to really me. interesting. Um, and the streets, the the old town area was really beautiful, very beautiful. Um, and there was just people everywhere, you know, obviously of the town. Um, 
they were having some type of festival going okay. on, and there were just these, um, all these kids blowing these gigantic bubbles with, with things that oh, we've I've seen, seen before. Oh, I've seen those rope Yeah, 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 I've seen those. And that, that was going on close to the, um, the, green, the gate. green Gate. And as you walked in, there was um, a group of, uh, of singers, a, a chorus. Really? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I kind of walked away from our guide because I wanted <laughs> to hear them. Um, and the Old Town is very, very, uh, very pretty, very yeah. historic. Uh, we went into one store that had before and after photos. Oh, really? Of what the place looked like yeah. after World War II and what it looks like now. Right. And it is stunning how they rebuilt it to, because wow. most of it was destroyed in the war. Well, it's like yeah. Berlin. You, know, you go yes. to Berlin, I mean, it was level, yeah. basically. Yes. In a lot of the cities, there was a city that, I, it's in the northern part that I go, go to quite often is Lubeck. It's not far from the North Sea there. And uh, the British used to use that as a practice for bombing runs. They just leveled it. There were seven, seven churches in town. They just leveled the whole, well, the whole thing. Yeah. So, well, uh, how they rebuilt this is, is, is yeah. amazing. Yeah. And they tried to rebuild it to look like the original. Yes. Like it, the original. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah it's, it's amazing. It's um, wonderful. Um, there, were, there were street artists there also. They were playing uh, violins under the Green Gate. The Green Gate was built as a... Um, I think it was a former royal residence. Okay. And it has arches. That's the gate to get okay. in. And they were playing uh, violins in the in the green gate under these arches, and the music just echoed and, and oh, filtered great. out. It was it was beautiful. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's po is that's that is that, that your only uh, <laughs> visit in Poland? That was our yeah, only that visit. Yeah, that was it. That was it. After we left Poland, we had a full day, full day at sea. That's the only time that we did not go into port. It was just we were going from there to Estonia, and it 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 took a while. Was but it rough? No, it, it, we never had any. Knock on wood. We never <laughs> had any rough, really no. rough weather. Okay. I'd, I'd say sometimes we had seas that were. Uh, three to four feet, maybe. Okay. Um, and when you're in, they have a, a, a fitness center in the ship that right. has the um, treadmills right, and right. the ellipticals, and Yoga they classes. also has have a sauna, a steam sauna. Okay. And they have a snow room <laughs> where it snows, so you can go from the sauna to the snow room, and then they have this big, like a whirlpool jet. Uh, tough. I mean, it's it's big. It holds a. It's like a small pool. Okay. And when you're in some rough seas, you can see the water kind of sloshing okay. around yeah. a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Um, a snow room. Yeah, it's that's yeah. the first. That's yeah. <laughs> and you go right Scandinavian from, custom yeah, of right. bathing. You go right from the heat right into the snow. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we spent a full day at sea, and um, they entertained us there. And again, they have. Like I think Kathy mentioned at the beginning, the night before they have talks about, and it's usually an expert of the stop that you're going to. So right. you get a, you get right. a, a heads up or a warm up right. of right. what's going to happen. So it, it is a day at sea that that she was concerned a little bit about with motion sickness. Yeah. But again, it wasn't it no wasn't problem. that bad, and, and it, it worked out good. Well, we're going to take a little break right here. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay. okay. 